The Unpacked event is scheduled to take place on August 11, that's almost a month from now on. But Samsung unintentionally or intentionally revealed both the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. Samsung just posted a video today where they are interviewing the developers who work on Good Lock, it's an app that provides a wide range of customizable features to the Anui. In the video for a brief moment of time, both the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic made an appearance. Even though it was only for a few seconds, but we learned quite a lot of new things about the handset and the watch. First up, we can see the design of the Watch 4 Classic in a silver variant. We know it's the Classic watch because we already have the official renders of the watch. The screen never turns on, so we don't get to see the new Anui watch on top of Wiro's. But it's clear that there will be two types of straps. One will feature a redesigned frame that allows for gapless transition from the smartwatch chassis to the straps. And the other is the conventional strap as you can see in the video. With that said, the Galaxy Z Fold 3 is also easily identifiable from its new camera layout and shape. The handset is in a folio type case which attaches to the back of the phone and also covers the front cover display. A lot of people complained that there isn't a single truly good case option for the Galaxy Z Fold 2 or the original Fold, and it's understandably why. Foldables present a unique challenge to case makers because there's no obvious way to provide full coverage. But good to see Samsung is at least providing some new options with the Z Fold 3. Now whether or not you like folio cases is another thing because many people don't prefer folio cases. Anyway, the video also shows the front of the display, and it looks like Samsung hasn't totally gotten rid of the crease from the Z Fold 3. Previous information from Ice Universe suggested that Samsung has made significant progress in eliminating the crease on both the Z Fold 3 and Z Flip 3. He even said you won't see any fold marks, but that isn't the case here. You can clearly see a crease. Now whether or not Samsung has reduced a crease compared to the Z Fold 2 is yet to be seen, because we can hardly see the front in this video. But I'm pretty sure the crease will be a non-issue either way, but it'll be interesting to see if the crease will hinder the S Pen writing or drawing experience. After all, the last thing you want with an S Pen or stylus is to have a crease interrupting your canvas. Huawei's Mate X2 also has a subtle display crease, but reviewers said the crease was barely noticeable and pretty much invisible to the touch. Samsung has stuck with the infolding form factor for a longer time than Huawei though, so I'm guessing Samsung will do a better job than Huawei handling the crease. In any case, Samsung will launch both the foldables as well as the Watch 4 and the Buds 2 at the unpacked event on August 11th. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments, and as always I'll see you tomorrow, peace out.